Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is just general messages. What you need to know right now, what your angels and guides want to tell you. Okay, so before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. All right. Today, pile one is smoky quartz. Pile two is red jasper. Pile three is amethyst. And pile four is black agate. So take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to, and uh, we'll get your messages. Let's see what you need to know. Okay, pile one. If you chose my smoky quartz, I love it. Uh, then this is your reading. Here we go. Page of Wands. Queen of Wands. Three of Wands. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. And the Fool. All right, look at all those wands. That means some fire, some energy, some creativeness. Um, is all going on right now. So you have a lot of ideas. You have a lot going on in your head. It's a really creative time for you. So uh, I would suggest you harness that energy. Use it to your advantage here. What do you need to get creative about? Do you need to have a creative outlet? Do you want to uh, create something? <laughs> I know I'm using create a lot. <laughs> Make something. Um, you know, if you're a writer, now would be a good time to Maybe write down a story. You know, who knows? It could develop into a book. Or if you're a songwriter, write some songs, poems. If you work with your hands, it's it's time to start making some things. Get creative. Sculpt. Paint. Whatever it is. Uh, it's a creative time. So I would harness that if you can. Put it to good use. All right, so the page is someone who has a lot of ideas. Now, the page isn't somebody who always follows through with them because, you know, it's a little bit of an immature, younger energy. But the excitement's there. The energy's there. The, the oh my God, what can I do next? Right? So, okay, let why don't we uh, take one of those great ideas that you probably have and focus on it. Become the queen. Make that dream a reality. Make that thought a reality. Get creative. You have the passion and you have the drive. You also have the courage to do it. So I really think that one of your great ideas can really um, nourish and grow and uh, become something important. Three of Wands is, that's the energy you're in right now. I would say that's the overall read. The planning stages. Not really um, putting anything into motion, but planning on that expansion. Planning on that creative endeavor or planning uh, or waiting for an opportunity. I want to say stop waiting. There's never a perfect moment. Time isn't, you know... Uh, the time is right now, right now. Live each moment like it's your last. Just just keep doing what makes you happy. I want you to um, put into motion the plans that you're thinking about. At least one of them. The Queen of Pentacles tells me you'll be successful. She's somebody who's extremely capable. Very grounded and practical but she knows how to get things done and the queen of wands is the magic maker right the queen of pentacles is the practical side of the magic maker so uh, you got them both here so you got the best best of both worlds you can be very successful at something the fool's here saying, take the leap. It's time to take a risk. Go ahead. Start this new 
cycle, start this new beginning, start, start something, pick one of your ideas and focus on it and uh, start working on it. Get it done. Time's now. Time for waiting is over. All right. Harness that energy. And it feels like you got a lot of it right now. Um, you got three wands here. Wands are the, you know, fast, fast moving energy. So, um, you know, get it moving. Definitely get it moving. Get it started. And if it requires taking a risk, go ahead. I think the risk will pay off for you. All right. that card to a cups to a wands look at those twos <laughs> eight of cups and justice all right a soulmate soulmate energy here so if you're looking for love you could be finding it you could be finding it maybe the, all those ideas involve ideas on how to find your soulmate right? You've been waiting for the perfect time to um, meet someone or I don't know. But time is now. Take the leap. Go after your dreams, okay? And if that's looking for love, then go look for it. You know, go go uh, make a connection. Get on those apps. I don't, I don't know. Just do something. But not all soulmates are lovers, right? Not all soulmates are romantic. So I, I was kind of feeling like this was having to do with business, your career, making something happen for yourself. Um, so you could be working with somebody that's going to be a soulmate for you. Or who is a soulmate for you. Working closely together to achieve some kind of amazing goal. The waiting game. See, you got the three wands and the two of wands, and they're both about like planning, getting things set up, thinking about it. It's not really many movement. I think it's time. I think it I think the waiting game is over. I think it's time. Pick your path. You know, they're also, both of them are also travel cards. So I don't know if you're going to be traveling soon or traveling for work. But, um, you know, if that's a possibility, I would say take the risk. Go ahead and take the risk. Now, Eight of Cups is here. That means you're pulling your energy back from something. I don't know what you're pulling your energy back from. Because, um... Or maybe you already did. Maybe that's... No, I kind of feel like it's in the future. I feel like it's in the future. You're going to be pulling your energy back from something. So maybe you taking a new risk, right? A new leap of faith here. Starting something new is going to make you have to pull, pull your energy back on something else. Something that wasn't, you know, really working out that well or not doing... Um, what you wanted it to do, I feel like you're going to be pulling your energy back because you're going to be focused on this new endeavor, whatever it is. But again, justice is here. So what's that saying? That's saying uh, you're coming into an alignment. You're coming into balance. That it's This is going to work out for you. Everything's going to feel good and it's going to work. All right, so let's get a few more cards. I don't want that deck. I want this deck. Hang on. Peaceful Warrior, Archangel Ariel. Thank you, Ariel, for helping me stand my ground with peace. Okay. So that's like Seven of Wands energy where you have to stand your ground. So uh, you're going to be getting pushback from 
whoever you're pulling your energy back from because you want to do something new, something different. Maybe. Maybe. But it's saying you're going to have to stand your ground, but in a very nice, kind way. We're not going to get nasty. We're not going to get, you know, um, blamey. You know, we're not going to blame other people for things. I, I think that we have to remember to always uh, be great, graceful if we can. So I think that's what that card is saying, that if you're going to pull your energy back from somebody or you're going to stand your ground on something, make sure you're doing it on a, um, in a peaceful way. Hmm. I'm getting a feeling that it might be a, um, a romantic partner that you are um, pulling your energy back from and they just want you to remember to be kind. Don't say hurtful things if you can help it. Uh, I don't know why some of you are pulling your energy back from a romantic partner. Because you want something new. You want something different. So, you know, if that's your story, that's your story. If it's not, it's okay. There's other stories here. All right. So our next card is Blanche. She who brings light, light, serenity, and beacon. Oh, I like that. Let's, let's see what Blanche, what message Blanche wants to give us. Okay, the message is to assure you that you are whole. The answers you seek is already dancing in your own spark of life. If you feel drained and restless, now is a good time to fuel yourself with food that nourishes and replenishes you. Enjoy vegetables from the garden that have been supercharged by the sun. Creativity needs to be fed as well. See, it's more about creativity. I think you need to be creative right now. Go to those places where you can connect with the things that ignite you. If your normal creative outlet isn't giving you what you need, try something different. Imagine yourself peacefully accepting all the energy of the sun, taking only what you need, you become a beacon for other seekers. You not only reflect the brilliance, you are the emanating light. This card calls you to understand your own warmth, your own glow, and your own brilliance. I really just think that's another card about being creative. I, the three wands made me feel like you needed to be creative. And if what you were doing wasn't working, then you need to change it up, right? You need to pull your energy back from that creative outlet and find a different one. Maybe with a new soulmate. That's possible. But yeah, there's uh, it's, it's about needing to be creative. Having that creative outlet. I don't know why, but it, that's I felt it strongly up here and then it came out again. So let's see what else you got. Convey your meaning. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. Again, another card saying be nice. It's okay to want what you want. It's okay to say how you feel. It's okay to tell people, you know, if they're doing something wrong, but to do it in a nice, kind, humble way. So, I don't know. Somebody's going to somebody's you're gonna to have to put somebody in their place but they're saying do it in a very nice way I don't know why or maybe somebody questioned you and you get a little offended by that and you kind of maybe snap a little bit and they're saying whoa, whoa try not to do that <laughs> try to be nice you know, towers for advice. So if something like, if a situation like that comes up, you're now going to remember, Christina said, be nice. I'm going to try and be nice. <laughs> I may not want to be, but I'm going to be nice. Um, but there's a reason they want you to be nice. So 
I don't know. I don't know what that could be. I really don't. Maybe you make something, somebody tells you it's ugly, and then it gets you offended, and you're like, well, you're ugly. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but there's there's a reason. It came out twice. The creativity came out. So this has to resonate with somebody, and it might resonate after the fact. You might say, oh, that's what that reading was all about. But it's going to resonate. I know it is. Wolf Moon, I will watch over you. All right, so you're going to be protected. You're going to be okay. I feel like it has to do with taking this leap. Don't be afraid to take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid to take, go on and um, take a new risk. Start something new. You're protected. Hammer. Rebuilding. Repetitive. Persistent. Working on it rebuilding see I think that's what you're going to do I think you're going to rebuild I think that's what that card's about I think it's about taking a leap of faith doing something new creatively to rebuild uh, yourself to to reinvent yourself to do something different didn't this card say something like if it wasn't working before change it up so I think it's the same thing I think it's about you Starting over, maybe. Rebuilding, doing something different. Past life relationship. So, the soulmate coming in could be somebody you've had a past life with. But, uh, you know, that's your romance angel card, so... You got somebody that you've worked with before. You definitely have a soulmate coming in or you're working with a soulmate. All right. Your final card is going to be a good from the good tarot. And of course, I know what the tarot means, right? But we're going to read from the book because sometimes her meanings are a little different. And uh, they could have a special message in it for you. So who did you get? You got the page of air. You're going to have to give me a second. Page of Air. This calls for greater investigation as we've only scratched the surface. I don't really know. That's interesting. If I explore this way of thinking, what can I learn? So it's about new ideas. It's like the, it's the Page of Swords. Theory not yet proving, curiosity, a new focus, a new focus. That's it. That's what that's about. It's about exploring something new, learning something new, having a new focus, right? I told you, you're going to have all these ideas and pick one and focus is what I said. That's exactly what this card is saying. So there's some kind of creative thing that you're going to be doing and they want you to take a chance on it. Go ahead. Take, take a chance on it. Take the leap. It just might pay off for you. All right. There could be love in the air for you guys. You got Cupid. You got Cupid. Look at that. It could be a past life relationship coming in for you, which is going to be nice. Luck is on your side. So is the key to success. Oh, you got you got commitment here. You might be getting commitment with this justice card too. Justice could be something legal. Some kind of signing something legal. <laughs> That's interesting, right? But something is definitely changing. Okay. Something's changing. And uh, it looks like you're getting your slice of the pie here. Some abundance is coming in. So that's always good. All right, Pyro One, that's all I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the Red Jasper, then this one's going to be your reading. Let's get your cards. 
Wheel of Fortune, Tower, Star, King of Cups, Strength. We've got a lot of majors here. They're all majors except for the king. So uh, this is going to be a pretty strong message, I feel. All right, here we go. You have the wheel here, so luck is on your side. So just keep that in mind when you ha when you go through this tower moment. The tower moment is a sudden change. Okay, could cause some chaos in your life. It could cause. Uh, sometimes it's about the rug being ripped out from underneath of you, and sometimes it's just uh, just a major shakeup, something completely different. So I want you to remember that that you have the wheel here. And the star, so that when you're going through this major shakeup, this major change, this uh, unexpected something that's going to happen, you're going to be just fine. Okay, you're going to get through it. Tower moments happen when we have to get rid of something in our lives that's no longer serving us. We have to make room for something new. So, um, yeah. They're going to, it feels like the universe is going to take something away so that they can give you something pretty amazing. And that, that pretty amazing thing could be a King of Cups. I mean, that King of Cups could be your energy, but they could be bringing you in new love here. Somebody who's going to be compassionate and generous and paternal, you know, like um, the patriarch of the family. Somebody who's very family oriented Somebody's, ah, I just uh, love King of Cups energy. So, yeah, with, with, you have something very nice to look forward to. It does feel like it's love. But they, they're, again, are telling you to call on your strength when you're going through this tower moment. Be brave. You're going to get through it, and you're going to get through it with something amazing on the other side. So knowing that you have something amazing on the other side will definitely help you through the tower moment. Because tower moments, they never feel good. They don't. Even if they're a good tower moment, they still don't feel good because they're, it's a sudden change. It's a shake up. You know, so it doesn't, oh, it changes hard. It, it could be for the better. It could be great. But change is still hard no matter whether it's for the better or not. So um, just remember that you are strong. Call on that inner strength and, and realize that you do have a wish coming true with the star here. You do have a wish fulfillment. And that whatever is coming after the tower is going to be very successful. Very successful. So if it's abundance or love, whatever it is, it's going to be amazing. So you do have that to look forward to. Okay. But there, you can expect a change coming into your life if you're not going through a sudden change now. Now, the tower is not here to scare you, okay? It's here to just keep you prepared. You know, it's for advice only. So if you know a tower is coming, you can brace yourself for it, right? And also realize that something amazing is coming out of it. So, all right, I'm going to brace myself for the storm. Once the storm is over, I'm going to find my pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's going to be there waiting for me. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we get. I'm going to move these down because on pile one, they didn't get to see the charms because I put them off camera and I didn't realize it until the reading was over. So I'm going to... I always tend to put the charms here because I'm right-handed and this is my right side. I know it's opposite on the video, but um, that's why I'm doing that. <laughs> Just so you understand my motivation here. All right, let's go. What are we getting here? We have strength. Six of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Sun. Are you kidding me? So you have strength twice. So I really do feel like this, whatever this is, it's going to be hard on you. 
unfortunately. It's going to be hard. So you might have to choose to walk away from something, to move on from something. And that's always hard, right? But you're going to be okay. But the strength came out twice, so it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable for you. But again, not only did you get the star and the wheel, but now you have the sun. Now you have the best card in the deck to some. You know, everybody says the sun's the best card in the deck. My favorite card is Ten of Pentacles. But the sun is, is second <laughs> for me. And then everybody else says it's the best card in the deck. So... You have the star, which is hope and wish fulfillment. And then you have the sun, which is just happiness and joy and bliss. And, and just if you're, if, if you're, um, if, uh, forget it. I'm not, I can't pronounce it right now. <laughs> it's not coming to me. I know the word I'm trying to say. I just can't say it. Euphoric. There you go. It's euf euphoria is what I wanted to say. <laughs> I do have the vocabulary. It's just my mouth doesn't always work right. <sighs> okay. So we're going to call on our inner strength. We're going to be brave and we're going to face whatever we have to face. We're going to face it. Because we're going, we're, we're traveling towards our sun here. So whatever we're moving on from, it's going to be okay. Because we're coming out of the darkness and going into the light. Look at that. We're going towards our sun. It's where we're headed. Right? And Seven of Pentacles is saying, you know, it's an analytical card. It's about, you know, taking a look at things. Is it worth it? Do I keep going or do I switch it up? You're switching it up. You're having the strength to, to go with the change, to go with the flow, to, to go towards the new. You're going towards the light here. All right. We're leaving the darkness in the past. We're going towards light. So, uh, yeah, I, I just, I worry about the strength card just a little tiny bit, but you have really beautiful cards here. So you're going to just, you just got to remember, you're going to come out of this smelling like a rose. You're going to come out of this wonderfully. And that's all you have to remember when you're going through something difficult. It's, it's going to work. It's going to work for you. It's going to work to your advantage and it's going to pay off in the long run. Okay. Oh, got a lot of energy. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it was because the pile one had a lot of wands energy and I'm still, I think I'm still feeling it. All right, here we go. Oh, somebody came home. You got the puppies barking in the background. All right, here we go. Count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for my blessings in my life. So this is, again, I think, reminding you that when we're going through this, remember to count your blessings because you're going to have so many things to be blessed for and so many things to be grateful for is coming in and I'm sure you probably even though you're going through this still have a lot of things to be grateful for so again call on that strength okay and and realize that you are blessed no matter what happens because I don't know what the tower is in your life I know what it would be in my life but this isn't my reading <laughs> this is my reading I would actually be excited because, uh, you know, I want all the good things that are, looks like they're coming to you. All right, here we go. She who comes, Jenna. Stillness, purity, quiet. Why is this reminding me of a wedding, a bride? I don't know. We're going to read from the book because that's a new deck. Let's see what Jenna, what message Jenna is going to bring you. But that kind of reminds me of a bride here. Purity, right? H I J. Here we go, Jenna. Okay. Jenna appears in order to honor the pause. Is this going to make you pause? Come to me, child. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Her gift is calm companionship. Calm, staying calm. Okay, she's going to help you stay calm through this tower moment. Okay. An intimate walk on a snow quieted day will be your reward when you answer her call. She and her whispered wing guides want you to show you the benefit of 
carving out a few peaceful moments for yourself. Okay. All right. This lovely spirit of winter wonderland beckons you, (laughs) beckons, beckons you to join her for one still minute. Focus on your breath. Appreciate all that we have, right? In this one simple moment, pause to give thanks for this calm respite. All right, so it looks like there's a like some kind of a storm brewing, but then there's going to be a calm in the center of the storm, or it's the calm before the storm. Let's breathe. Let's be centered. Let's be okay with it. Because we have something really amazing on the other side of this. Okay? (laughs) I hope that made sense to you. All right. Let's get you a few more. Change directions with ease. Okay. This is a time for change shape-shifting or your soul's evolution it is a time to reconsider what you are wanting you may be in for a surprise okay so there we go there's our major change that gives us a hint right so it's like whatever you've been wanting whatever you've been working towards or something like that there's going to be some kind of a shake-up that's going to cause you to change direction right you're going to analyze it It's going to cause you to change direction and you're going to be completely surprised where it leads you and it's going to be amazing. I like that. So it's going to be, that's a little bit of a hint for you. All right, let's see what else. The butterfly, I am reborn. See? It's about reinventing yourself. You're being reborn into something different. So, uh, oh, this is, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. It is. I know it's probably going to be scary, but it's going to be good. Lightning. Oh my goodness. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval transformation a change but it's like the tower it's like the tower because it's going to be sudden and it's going to be a surprise and it's going to transform your life but it's a good transformation i'm telling you chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here So you have chemistry with somebody. Is it because you're the king of cups or is it your person who's the king of cups? So there's some chemistry in your life. So hopefully you have somebody in your life that there's chemistry with. But if not, you got somebody coming in. You're going to have, have, uh, you know, a connection with somebody. All right. So now what I'm getting you is a good tarot. I'm going to read from the book. I know what the tarot means, but I'm going to read from the book because her messages sometimes give you a little bit of a different message here. And you got message, 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 messenger of earth. All right. So let me see what she has to say. Messenger of earth. It's like, uh, I think it's like the, the, the knight of pentacles, maybe. It's either the knight or the page of pentacles. I don't know. I get confused sometimes. Hardworking, proceeding with integrity, perseverance and grit, prudent and careful effort, thoroughness, industriousness, stamina and dedication. They're all the key words for that. And then it says, I am in the flow, committed to co-creating with spirit effectively and efficiently. I do my best and never leave a job half done. I am dedicated and determined, knowing my efforts will pay off. So, it's about finishing what you start, right? But you're switching directions here. So, I think that they're saying uh, you might have to switch directions, but make sure you kind of close out the old 
um, and don't leave them hanging or don't leave that situation open. Kind of close it out and then switch directions and go, go for the new. That's what I got from it. But you may have gotten something different. Let me pull you a few charms. All right, we got the crown. All right, so you're the king, right? You're the king of cups here. So wear that crown. Be compassionate. Be full of love. Be full of generosity. Okay? We have Mar May and September. So May's coming up in September. So maybe your birthday's in May and your person's birthday's in September. Or I don't know. They could just be two important dates for you. Like two important months. Like something important is going to happen in these months. But it looks like you might be getting a gift. And this is about being rare, being unique, being an individual, you know, not being like everybody else. So what I'm actually feeling from this is you're getting a very rare opportunity here. Like it's, it's not like it's not... It's not everybody's story. Like not everybody can claim this. Like not a, it's not going to be a common story. Whatever's going on in your life, it's not a common situation. It's going to be specifically for you. It's geared towards you. I hope that's making sense. I hope I'm, I'm getting my words out clear enough for you to understand. Like say, Say you fall in love, all right? Say, this is just an example. Say you're going to fall in love with somebody, all right? Everybody falls in love, right? So that's not unique or different. But if you fall in love, let's say, in Alaska on the top of a mountain watching the northern lights, that's a pretty rare and unique experience, right? So that's what I'm talking about, like, there's a situation here that's going to be very rare and unique and it's going to be just for you. That's what I was feeling from that snowflake. <laughs> All that for the little snowflake. <laughs> then anyway, um, that's what I got for you, pile two. I'm excited for you. I know, just, just remember, whatever difficult time you go through, you're going to be just fine. Okay? All right. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose this amethyst, then this one is for you. Here we go. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Devil. Seven of Swords. What is going on, Hermit? Okay, not loving this reading. <laughs> totally not loving this one, but okay, we'll we'll see what we could do with it. <laughs> Let's see. All right, pile three. You're holding yourself back. You all right, I, I feel like this is about I I kind of feel like this is about your job. All right. So if it's not, it, it's okay. You could still relate it to something else, but I, I'm I'm kind of feeling like this is about your job. So this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that you're feeling passed over or that you don't make enough, that other people are rising above you, making a lot more money than you, getting more ahead in life than you. You're not, you might not be paid what you're worth or you might not be feeling like... Um, you might be feeling like you're in a dead-end job. Something along those lines. And you're really taking a look at it now. Because now, like, you've been feeling like that for a while. But now you're, like, taking a, a serious hard look at it with that Seven of Pentacles. And you're like, what do I do? Do I keep going? Do I change it up? But there's this devil energy here. And you, I think you're afraid to change it up. I think you're holding yourself back here. I really do. I think you're holding yourself back. I think you're afraid of a change. I think you're comfortable where you're at, even though it's, you know, it's not the best situation for you. You know that there's better out there, but I don't, I don't think that you want to 
I don't know. I think it's you. I think you have this false belief system in your head that either you can't do it or I I don't know, but I don't like it. Now here comes my Mr. Sneaky. This is my liar, my thief, my liar, my cheat, my thief. So this is your energy, right? So what I'm getting from this card is I feel like, A, you either feel like you're being cheated, and that could very well be with the Five of Pentacles down there on the end. You could definitely feel like you're being cheated, or you are just really trying to strategize how to get ahead somehow, some way, without... like completely switching up your entire life. I think you're wasting more energy trying to figure things out than if you were to just go find yourself another job, a better opportunity. I think you're really seriously thinking about it. You got, you're in hermit mode. So you are really seriously considering your options, but I think you're wasting your efforts here. For some reason, I'm feeling like you're wasting too much time strategizing and not enough time doing. I think you need to do something different. But I think you're afraid and I don't, I think that you don't want to switch it up. But I think you need to. I think you need to break free from your devil energy here. Now that's what I got from all this. I guess you could look at it it, uh, the same as if it was a relationship. You know, it it doesn't feel right anymore. You might be strategizing on how to get out of it or uh, get ahead of it. or But you're staying because you're comfortable because it's easy. But you're thinking about it. So you really can relate my messages in any situation. But for some reason, I'm really feeling like it's career. Okay. So let me get a few more cards. Nine of Cups. Three of Swords. The Fool. And the Star. I don't know what that Three of Swords is. That's heartache. Um... Nine of Cups, the Fool, and the Star, I think, is an, uh, is a brand new beginning with you. Okay, maybe it's going to break your heart to leave. Maybe that's what that is. Maybe it's going to break your heart to leave, but you know that you need to. You know you need to have a new beginning here. You need a fresh start. You need something better. I, fe- I just feel like your potential is so above where you're at or what you're doing but you've kind of just stayed because of this devil energy that you're afraid to break free from but I think you're gonna I think you're gonna do it I think your courage I think that's why you're in hermit mood because I think you're starting to think about it and I think you're starting to grab your courage and I think you're gonna take this new journey here I think you're gonna take a leap of faith And you're going to find a lot of wish fulfillment and hope on the other side. But it might break your heart to do what you're doing. So it could be like you leaving a family business, you leaving a boss that you really like, or you leaving a relationship, you you know, you leaving somebody behind because it's just not working for you. It's not enough. I feel like whatever you're, it's not enough. Whatever the situation is, it's not enough. And once you take a new leap of faith, it's gonna, it's gonna, your world's gonna open up. Earth Angel, thank you, angels, for inspiring me to be more like you. Okay, so there you go. 
you're going to get inspiration and you're actually going to do some good in the world. So something you're doing, if you is actually going to be doing somebody a favor or doing something really good for the environment or you, I, I, some, or somebody, I don't know, but I feel like this new move is actually helping more than just you, if that makes any sense. I don't know. All right, let's see what else we're getting. <laughs> she who hopes. I think this is Renee. Renee. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Love, hope, and relationships. She who hopes. All right, so I'm going to read from the book because this is a new, that's a new deck. Okay, the message of this card is to never give up hope. Your dreams of love are possible regardless of any history indicating otherwise. So maybe your heart's broke because you don't have love and you're feeling like everybody else has found love but you haven't and you're taking a look at your life but you're still holding yourself back. You're not really putting yourself out there because you're afraid. But now you're starting to strategize as to how you can find love. This all makes sense. This all makes sense. Maybe, and you're going to find your wish, you're going to find your wish fulfillment because you've been so bro heartbroken without having love. And you're going to have somebody to take a new leap of faith with. And it'll be a wish come true for you. They'll inspire you. They'll be an earth angel. This all makes beautiful sense. This is a beautiful story now. When you are able to look back and see how every connection has brought you to this place, you begin to build your own bridge from loneliness to happiness. Always remember you must crown yourself first. For no one else can make you see your own worth if you don't already own it see your own worth believe in love believe in the lessons of the past no believe it the lessons of the past were simply to give you opportunities to become the amazing human you are this is all about love how did i not see it with that heartache how did i not see it i'm seeing it clearly now it did feel like career but it's about not having love and everybody else. Maybe maybe all your friends are getting married and um, or, or you're the only one who's single and uh, you're feeling bad about it, but yet, you know, you, you may be feeling unworthy because uh, you've only ever had your heart broken in the past. Maybe you've only attracted liars and cheaters, right? And you're, oh, okay, okay. So now we, now we got two stories here. <laughs> we got two stories with that card. So this could be about work still because I was feeling that really strongly. And you guys know I trust my intuition. They give me things for a reason. But now here's that second story. And you know what? I kept feeling like there was another story because I kept saying this could be about love, but I couldn't see the story. And that card and I was asking for them to see the story and the card made me say it okay oh <sighs> sometimes I have to work through things <laughs> to get the story out but what I was saying before about career it wasn't wrong it wasn't wrong it, that is still somebody's story that is a message still for somebody but I think uh, it's this is more about love now the gift of neutrality Balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutral, 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 neutrality. I hate when I can't speak. It's number 34. I think because I was concentrating on the words 
I didn't really get the message. So let's read what it means. Reflect on your own behaviors and how you are living. Does your current lifestyle express your truth? See, now I'm feeling like we're back to career, right? Look for ways to bring yourself into balance with your true spirit. Balance comes through self-effort. Begin to process Begin the process of harmonizing all areas of your life by dedicating time to everything that is important to you. Doing this will create a sense of joy, freedom, and overall rejuvenation. You are being shown the importance of action and inaction. Become aware of how you think about and how you respond to your environment. Remove judgment and preconceived notions about opportunities or individuals. See, here it is. This is like that devil energy, Reno. Reno, you thinking false things about yourself. You judging yourself too hard. And you knowing that you the way you've been living isn't isn't enough for you anymore. But balance comes through self-effort. Okay? You have to put some effort in. And I don't feel like you have been putting a lot of effort. I'm sorry to say, but that's I was feeling it before and I'm still feeling it now. You got to break free from this devil energy. All right. Whew. This is a tough one. It, it's just tough to hear. It's, it's tough for me to feel how you're feeling. If this is your story, I, oof, I, I sympathize with you. I don't like it. I know you're desperate for change. But you want the change to be easy. And sometimes change isn't easy. Most of the time it's not. Heed wise counsel. Listen. All right. I'm giving you some wise advice here. You need to listen. That's what the card says. So listen. But also listen to others that you ask advice for. I'm sure you're getting good advice from other people as well. Especially if you're looking for answers. All right. Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. There's change that needs to happen, and you already know it. And I think you're you're working towards it. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Have fun. Be fun and flirty and carefree and lighthearted. Don't be so serious, you know. Take chances and laugh at yourself if you have to. All right. Let's get you a good tarot advice card as the final card. Let's see what you got. You got three of earth, which is like three of pentacles, but... Sometimes her messages are different. So let's see. A third party helps me to th see the truth of this situation. What is truly mine can never be withheld from me. Rejection is spirit's protection. It's in my best interest to let go and allow for something better to take place. Take its place. It is my highest good to see the truth regardless of my temporary discomfort. This too shall pass. So even that, even your card, your final advice card is saying it's time for a change. It's time for a change. All right, I'm going to pull you a few charms. Put it over here because you got love. Big heart. Big heart, love, transformation, there's the butterfly, trusting your intuition with the cat, key to success here with the key, an angel saying, we got you, we got you, you got a fish bowl, fishes always represent abundance for me, but sometimes it means like all eyes are on you, so somebody might be watching you, keeping an eye on you. And then don't hold on to things too tightly. Don't be a dog with a bone. And then you got the puppy, the puppy paw print or the kitty paw print. It doesn't matter. It's a paw print. It's an animal. So, um, oh, something to do with your animal. Do you have a pet? Do you want a pet? Do you, are you getting a pet? 
does your pet need some attention? Do you need to spend more time with it? I don't know. Sometimes it could be a pet from spirit coming back, but I'm not feeling that really strongly. Could be for some, but not not mostly for others. Mostly I, I feel like um, I'm kind of feeling like you need to spend more time with your animal. I don't know why, but that's what I got. And then finally you have the mask. So don't wear a false mask. Don't lie to yourself anymore. Don't pretend to be something you're not, but break free, break free from your false belief systems, take off the mask, see how powerful and capable you really are. All right, pile three, that's what I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. All those things help me and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Okay, pile four, did you see that? five 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 on the timer <laughs> this is going to be an important message it feels like right with that time start and that was completely by coincidence i didn't even notice it until i was writing it down so i could you know put it in the uh, description all right here we go here's your story the hangman the emperor knight of wands temperance Page of Swords. All right. Pile four. It looks like you've been stuck for a little bit. Uh, maybe you've been trying to see things from different angles, different perspectives. But it feels like you've been a little bit stuck. You've been waiting. You've been waiting for something to happen, maybe. I don't know. But uh, I think now it's time to step into your power. Come on, get that boss energy up there. You have it. You have it within you. You are a natural born leader here. I think you are finding your passion here. You're finding your motivation. I think somebody is lighting a fire under your butt. I do. I think uh, that or somebody caught your eye. Somebody caught your attention. You're having um, very... I want to say romantic thoughts about somebody, but you know, it's more than romance here. This is very lustful. <laughs> I try to watch my words and sometimes you just, I just can't help it. I just got to get out what I need to say. But yeah, there's somebody I think who has caught your eye. If that's if you're single or even if you're not single, I think somebody still might have caught your eye. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, but it could be because, you know, you've just been kind of stuck for a while. <sighs> I think you learned something. I think you either heard something about somebody or you learned some truth. You got some information or you just had this new inspired idea. I don't know, but there's the, something motivated you. Something lit a fire under your butt. And I think that you're about to go after something you've been desiring for a while. Kind of feels like a person. Kind of feels like a person, but it doesn't have to be. It could be like you're going after a, a business idea or something like that. But I don't know, kind of feels like it's, it's a person. And they're just going to remind you to keep everything in balance with that temperance card. All right. Remember to practice patience. Don't be too impulsive. And, uh, you know, uh, keep things in check. All right. This is going to be interesting, I think. So let's keep going. Let's get some more cards. All right. Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, Three of Cups. You got Eights here. So just uh, if you're seeing Eights, then you're going to know this is your reading for sure. But you also know that you are, um, you know, on the right path if you see your Eights. All right. So Eight of Pentacles is about working hard, mastering your craft, doing really well. Your hard work's about to pay off, things like that. 
So I think, I think that you've just been either concentrating on work and that's maybe why you feel left out. Like five of pentacles is feeling left out in the cold or it could be, you know, a financial loss, but I feel like you've just either been concentrating on work and now you feel a little left out. Or you feel like, I don't know, I had it and I lost it. They gave me the story and I lost it. So I'm asking for them to give it back to me. But if not, I'm just going to talk through it and it'll come. So bear with me. Eight of Pentacles is either love at first sight, which could very well be when I said the Knight of Wands is here, it looks like somebody caught your eye. That is absolutely what could be. Or it's a lot of communication. It's a communication card. It's a movement card too. It's fast moving. It's a lot of energy. So something's happening pretty quickly. There's Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Those both very fast moving energy. So something's happening pretty quickly for you. And it will be a reason to celebrate with that Three of Cups. Three of Cups is celebrating with friends. Sometimes it can signify a third party situation. So, you know, and with the five of cups being left out in the cold, eh, it could mean that. Yeah, it's possible it could mean that for somebody. But I think somebody left your eye, I mean, caught your eye, and you really want to go towards your person. You really want to go towards your person. And if you do, you're going to celebrate. It'll be fun. It'll be a happy thing for you. But there might be some kind of financial loss if you do. I don't know. That second row really threw me off. I had the story in the first row and then the second row, row threw me off. I'm going to keep going. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Here we go. Trust your vibes. Thank you, angels, today. I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. So you're going to know what to do. All right, so they are going to be giving you a sign. Maybe you will see eights, right, to let you know that whatever you're thinking about at that moment is correct, and that's what you should do. Um, but you're going to trust your intuition when it comes to making this move. Whatever fire got lit under your butt, whatever you're moving towards, um, I, I think you, you're right. I think you're doing the right thing. See, she who surprises is Briz. Surprise, discovery, and revelation. Let's read what Briz says because this is a new deck. Let's see what message she wants to give you. Okay, when this card of surprise shows up, expect the unlooked for moment. If you are receptive to fortuitous, fortunous, fortunous, fortuitous, oh, whatever, insight. If you are receptive to insight, you stand a very good chance of finding the answers you need. The key here is the message may come in unusual ways. Message communication. You cannot reflect, you cannot expect a straightforward response. Trusting your vibes here. Rather, look for those things that reveal themselves through patterns. Perhaps you see a caterpillar over and over, or maybe it will be the caterpillar, the chrysalis, and then the butterfly. Whatever the simple, simple, Whatever the symbol is, don't worry if you don't understand it in the moment. Sometimes discovery comes only after we have assimilated the knowledge deep within ourselves. We must allow the process to unfold. Forcing it may ruin the moment of sacred surprise. So, 
you need to pay attention to the signs that you're given. You're, you're gonna, they're going to give you a sign and something's going to be revealed to you and it's going to surprise you. It's going to wake you up. It's going to give you an aha moment. You're getting a, a surprise from spirit. That I love this card. I want this card. <laughs> I want to pull this card for me. I need a, a beautiful surprise from spirit. You're getting a surprise from spirit. I love this. All right, let's, let's see what else you're getting. Because you're getting another new card here. This is the Whispers of the Ocean deck. It's another new deck. And I can't wait. Setting up parameters. Access your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals. Setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships. Okay. Hmm. All right. So... You know how I was saying you're feeling stuck? You're feeling stuck because you're not putting boundaries with a certain person. And I feel like now you're going to start doing that. Because now you're going to step into your power. Now you feel powerful enough to, or you're just gaining your power back because now you care or something. I don't know. But now you're going to start setting boundaries because you notice something or you're having this epiphany or you're getting this knowledge, right? You're finding this truth or you're learning something here and it's going to light a fire under your butt to do something because you're not going to feel left out in the cold anymore or you're not going to feel like a third party anymore. You're getting some kind of communication. They're reaching out. And they want you to trust the signs that you're giving. Trust your intuition. They're going to be showing you something. They're giving you a. They're giving you an aha moment, and it's going to be pretty amazing. You're getting like the sacred surprise. What is a secret surprise? I I want to know what that is. I want one. Here we go. A time to say goodbye. Something is about to end for now. For now. Something's about to end for now. Hmm. I don't know. All right. Something's about to end. I don't know. Something's got you motivated here. You did learn something. It could be that inspired idea because I did say you were getting an inspired idea, right? So same as that card. Talking. Text, call, email, awaited messages. So either somebody's waiting to hear from you or you're going to hear from somebody. I kind of feel like they want, I kind of feel like somebody's waiting to hear from you because I think you had to have that aha moment. And I feel like this is you, the Knight of, Knight of Wands, finally having a fire lit under your butt. So I think it's you who has to reach out to somebody. If you're thinking about somebody, I don't care whether it's a romantic situation or not. I would suggest shooting somebody a message. You know, a text message or if... if um, you don't have their number, then over social media somehow, send them a message. Calling in your soulmate. Uh, pile four. I think you're ready for your soulmate. And to be honest with you, I think they're ready for you too. I don't know why, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like they're wait awaiting your message. They're awaiting your message. All right. Let's see. Your final advice card. Ace of water. Ace of cups. Oh, are you kidding me? New love. New love. New love. Ace of water. Let me find it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hey, hang on. Unconditional love, overflowing, abundance, the fertility of love. I am filled with love from spirit and joyously let it flow out to others where it fertilizes the seed of co-creation. 
Love gives me hope, shining brilliant light on all the possibilities available to me. I am optimistic about bringing dreams into being. Spirit always informs me and guides me, allowing me to illuminate the darkest of places. Um, you're getting new love. Now, this is a seahorse, right? And what does seahorse energy? Seahorses, the males, are the ones that give birth. So, uh, you know, a baby could be on the way for some with this new love here. But not feeling that very strongly in this read. That this is the first time pregnancy came up. So I'm not feeling it. I've been feeling pregnancy a lot lately. But this is the first time it came up. So I'm just pointing it out, but it's not very strong. I just feel like you are ready to go get your new love. Or it could be like somebody you used to know. I don't know. But you're ready to get your soulmate. Somebody, let somebody, something, some kind of news, some kind of truth. Some kind of epiphany in your head. Came, you lit a fire under your butt. And now you're ready. Ready for your soulmate. Go get them. Go get them. Here we go. Soulmate. The good life. Love. Fairy energy, which is magical energy. Crown, put on that crown. Put on your crown. Step into your power. Become your emperor. Become the emperor. Have that confidence. Have that confidence. Go get your person. Here's your light bulb moment. You're having an epiphany. You might have to travel. You might have to travel to get your soulmate. Or your soulmate might have to travel to you. Or you might sweep your soulmate away and say look I need some time to get to know you we need some one on one time let's go on a trip <laughs> let me take you someplace um hello where are you I, that would be I would be open to that <laughs> I'm sure a lot of us would right anyway it feels good this feels good I like this I do I really like it that's what I got for you, Pile 4. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a message or a comment. All those things help me so very much, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.